create a false flag operation to use them. What evidence have you seen showing that? And would the U.S. have a military response if Putin does launch a chemical weapons attack? I'm not going to speak about the intelligence, but, you, but uh, Russia would pay a severe price if they use chemical weapons. <laughs> Joe Biden says there is now a clear sign Vladimir Putin may be getting ready to use chemical and biological weapons in Ukraine. The US president is also warning Western allies to brace for Russian cyber attacks as he prepares to fly to Europe to lead an emergency NATO summit. Here's our US correspondent, Eamon Ashton Atkinson. With Vladimir Putin's back against the wall, Joe Biden is worried about what comes next. They're also suggesting that Ukraine has biological and chemical weapons in Ukraine. That's a clear sign he's considering using both of those. American intelligence claims to have evidence Russia is deliberately targeting civilians. This, along with preventing nuclear war, is top of the agenda for the U.S. president's European trip that begins tomorrow. The president is traveling to Europe to ensure we stay united, to cement our collective resolve. On Thursday in Brussels, Joe Biden will lead an emergency NATO summit, meet with G7 leaders and the European Union. Then on Friday, he'll travel to Warsaw, Poland. There, he'll potentially meet refugees who fled their homeland, along with US troops stationed along the border. Biden will also hold talks with Polish President Andrzej Duda, who today called for a more defensive NATO alliance. Among the issues President Biden will raise in Europe is what to do if Vladimir Putin uses chemical weapons in Ukraine, and how should the West respond if Russia launches cyber attacks? Most cyber attacks don't just happen in an instant. There's activity that leads up to it. The FBI is warning at least 23 American companies have been scanned by Russian-linked IP addresses. Their targets, financial systems, power grids, and water utilities. The US is also sharing intelligence with Australia on a daily basis in case Russia also plans to target us. Eamon Ashton Atkinson for 10 News First, Washington.